Now this is my uh, failure of a garden. Now that I'm locked down in Corona, I'm going to do a food forest. Being that I wasn't going to be here long prior to Corona, I was going to come and go, so putting a garden in wasn't really an option. I had some vague thoughts of a perennial uh, permaculture food forest garden, which is now what I've come to. Now I thought I'll just box an area out here somewhere, chuck some mulch on it and start a food forest. I've got big trees there, that's the west, they shade at four o'clock. Over here, I have more trees on the east, which don't let the sun in until about nine o'clock. I've come up with a much better idea. What I'm gonna do is see this big thicket of blackberries, wild blackberries, along here, basically a big strip of wild blackberries. I do have some problems under there, a wombat slipping under there, there's an old car relic under there, logs. There's just a thick of the blackberries and some patch of weeds. See, you see, so it's just a little strip there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get those blackberries, I'm going to tidy them up, put them on a trellis or a, um, uh, uh, something for them to grow on instead of just a wild thicket. And each side of it, along the bottom, I'm going to mulch it heavily and plant my miniature food forest. Limited a little bit by light here, I get the northerly sun comes in there. But we'll see what happens. So here we go, it's a jungle. I've got wombats living under it. I've got wallabies that eat around it. I do have the occasional rabbits, very few though. Uh, so it'll be a little bit of a challenge, but the first challenge is to clean it up a bit. And uh, as you know, if you're working with blackberries, the same as roses, they just grab you and tear you apart. But anyway, you've got to do it. So here we go, on a cold spring day in Australia, that's my sawmill there waiting for some more attention. I'm going to turn that into a food forest. This is the before, and I'm hoping I'm going to have a good after to show you soon. Got the choice. do is try and get a central row of canes up the middle there, going up full length in that direction. A central row of canes, they've got to be ruthless, cut all the others back, even though it's springtime and they're all coming into uh, flower. Um, yeah, so get a plan going and then get into it. That's about it. Fog rolling in from the other side of the mountains, you can't see it there, but it could be here soon. Big fog. So I'll do a bit and I'll sit back and sit back and have a glass of red. Work up thirst. Fog's here, starting to drizzle a bit. Time to go inside. Old car in there, I think I call them uh, garden art now, those old car bodies. I'll come in from the other side next time I start. Time to call today. The rain's come. The weather's king up here. Whatever the weather does, you've got to work with it. Don't make plans and then try and bulldoze or boss the weather. You'll kill yourself. The weather's the king. Just do what you can to suit the weather. This is sort of uh, dramatic. You can see that fog. That's not smoke. That's just the fog coming in. I'll get in front of it there. It's like something out of a bloody horror movie. The big fog is just moving in. It's drizzling rain at the moment. Big fog just moves in like that. 
It's a lot thicker than that when it gets here, but that's just the start of how quick it moves in, because we're right up in the clouds here, up amongst the aeroplanes. Had an aeroplane go across here the other day, hear him revving, 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 climbing to get over the hill, and I reckon he brushed the wheels on the pine tree there. When he got over the ridge, you see him idle back, and rrr, a big sigh of relief, he got over the hill. <laughs> I don't know what sort of plane it was, but he seemed to be struggling a bit. Uh, well, that's life. I've cut that back a bit yesterday before the fog and the rain come. It was out to about there. I've cut it back to there. I'm going to leave a central row of blackberries right up the middle here. I'm going to put a garden bed each side. North is that way. That's where the sun's come from. Starts over there, goes over to there. So this is in line. So the morning plants will get plants on this side of the hedge will get the morning sun and the ones on the other will get the afternoon sun. Uh, it's not a really sunny position because I've got the big pine trees way over there and I've got other trees over here. That's a cold climate. It does get snow here sometimes. I'm going around this side now. It's a good day to be doing it today because there's a big snake lives in here somewhere too. Probably down the wombat's hole somewhere. This is the other side. I've got to prune it into a... get rid of all that stuff here except for a row of vines, a row of... Uh, shoots and train them up and grow them. Okay, we'll see what we'll get going and do a bit. Okay, get into the hard work. There you go fellas, bit of a hard day, hard day at the office, but guess what, thrashed all that back, raked it, cut it, what I've done here, I don't know if it's right or not, I'm not after massive fruit, I'm just uh, making it into a sort of a hedge, I've just bunched them up, bunched those uh, canes up, folded them over, tied them into the next bunch of canes, folded them over, folded them over, folded them over on themselves, that'll thicken up. As you see over there, that's the blackberry patch. That's the blackberry patch. That's the blackberry patch. That's the blackberry patch. I'm not in need of blackberries as fruit. I have plenty of those. So, uh, and there's me old smoky fire. Get rid of all the brambles. I think it's a good day's work. Now along here, what used to be just a big thicket of blackberries, we're going to put a little permaculture type garden right along there. And on the other side of the blackberry edge, which it'll be, I'll do the same. A sort of a no-dig type garden, no-dig and uh, perennial vegetables. The old uh, relic in here, uh, well it's been there for what, 60 years, it can stay there for another couple of years. If I'm not going to do it, I'll just leave it there. There you go, end of the day, got all my canes tied off, sort of making a hedge out of it. And just before I go inside, I've managed to plant my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strawberry plants that I bought from the uh, opportunity shop that somebody had grown and brought in. And now they're up here. I haven't got a fence around them yet, but I've got a big smoky fire going there. That'll be smoking all night. That'll keep the wombats away from it, I think. We'll see what happens in the morning. Okay, got a garden already. Got a garden there. Blackberries are all tied up there. We've got a piece of garden art in the middle of the garden. Yeah, oh, whatever, or you could call it scrap metal. 
That's it. I'm going to have a nice glass of red wine. Feeling good. Done a good day's work. So in summary, doesn't look much to you guys, but that's a good day's work for me. Oh, and I've got that little patch up there to do another day. Cheers, guys. Bye.